Hey guys! So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install brushes, particularly mine, um, and also talk a little bit about all the different ones that I have and how I use them. So first what I'm going to do is show you the difference between tool presets, this, you know, this um, tab over here, tool presets, and the brush menu over here. So there's tool presets and there's brush presets and those are two different things. So um, brush presets is where I keep every single brush I've ever downloaded from the internet. Like I have everything on here and I don't usually use these but I like to keep them just because, yeah just because I guess. Um, and then I keep all my favorite ones and the ones that I use more often in tool presets. Um, so pretty much what I can show you is also how to make a tool preset if you're interested. So let's say I like this brush. Uh, no, let's go with the one that's not. Okay. Let's say I like this grass brush. Oh god, that's so horrible. Anyway, so we'll be going to brush over here. And then I do all sorts of tweaks and stuff to it to make it, you know, the way I like it. You go to tool presets and go new tool preset here. And then you just give it a name and you can include the color if not. Usually I don't include a color. So that's pretty much if you want to make a tool preset. So there's the brush tool grasp. And then what's nice about this is that it also has, you know, all the, um, it has, it includes the other uh, tools like eraser. You could also have a smudge tool and all that kind of stuff, but I don't use that. And then if you just press Alt, then you can get rid of it. Um, okay, so that's just how to make a quick, quick one on how to make a tool preset. And then if you want to, um, I'm going to show you guys how to install a tool preset, but in order to do that, I'm going to um, delete all of this, but first I'm going to save it and I can show you guys how to do that. So you pretty much a lot of things that you want to do, you have to just click this tab. And then what you do is just say save tool presets. And I'm just going to put it on my desktop for now. And I'm going to say Katie's Tool Presets. And then save it. And then if you go look at your desktop or your finder desktop, it's this thing. It has like this tool um, thumbnail. So I'm just going to go to Preset Manager. This is where you can delete or add everything so I'm just gonna delete all of this to show you guys you know this is this is it empty I don't have any tool presets at the moment but I do still have all my brushes you know it's all still there and then um, in order to just uh, load them is you click load look for the TPL file and open and then there you have it it's back here and so this is where I just keep all of my tools Okay, so uh, let me talk about some of my favorites first. So w the thing, the two things that I use to sketch most often is this hard flat horizontal brush or this hard flat vertical brush. And um, you'll see that I have a hundred at the end of all the names. And the only reason I had that was because it's just to tell me like um, how if, if the flow and opacity is 100 because you can actually save tool presets with all these um, settings embedded in it. So for example, if you look at this one, soft, soft round brush 50, the flow is actually only 50. So you can, that's another really cool thing about tool presets is that you can save this stuff. Okay, so let me show you guys this stuff, um, the hard flat horizontal brush. Now this brush is pretty um, opaque so it's, uh, you know, you don't have to press very hard to make a really opaque uh, color. But often what I do is um, um, when you go to brush tip shape, I usually like to make it diagonal because I, I just find that nicer and it feels more like marker. So, um, but usually I don't use this to sketch because it's much too um, opaque. I use this to usually color or fill in just because it is so opaque. Um, and then, but what I use to sketch most often is hard flat vertical brush here. And once again, I like to make it diagonal um, and sketch it 
sketch using this diagonally and it feels I, I like the feel of it being diagonal uh, it just feels like I said more like marker and more like actual actual pencil and stuff um, okay so and then usually I would just you know change this however I like it's really easy to just press F5 and then twist this the way you like it okay so that's for like what I use to sketch and something else then it's like okay so let's say I have something I like Woo! awesome masterpiece <laughs> um, and then I, I you know want to fill it in with something something I like to use often is um, anything that has texture whoa my computer's slow right now that's because I'm um, I'm recording but anyway so yeah like a lot of this stuff it's pretty um, self-explanatory based on the name you know like I just it, it, it gives some texture to the to whatever I'm painting and then uh, something else that I like to use is this soft round brush to get some shading going on and pretty much um, everything I've named is pretty self-explanatory you know so chalk this chalk brush here just gives it some more texture dry brush as well I don't use these as often but it, I do use them once in a while when I just feel like I want something to be toothier um, here's like a pebble brush that I use once in a while just to give like to quickly make this type of shape and uh, let's see what else is there that I need to explain the skin texture brush I like to use this on cheeks or um, shoulders or anywhere that I feel like could use some texture because skin isn't completely smooth uh, this brush I downloaded from an artist that I unfortunately don't remember but it's really really good for smoke and mist as you can see it looks pretty convincing and um, this spatter brush this is just good for uh, yeah, making dots and spatter and it, I think it looks pretty believable everything else again like I said is pretty self-explanatory like this pencil tip brush it's supposed to feel like pencil and pretty much you guys can just play with any of these and see which one you like um, I'll have a download on in the description so just check that out oh here's also for erasers what's nice is that you can have erasers and brushes all in the same area black let's draw some stuff so this is a hard round eraser while this one is supposed to be more painterly and then this is a soft eraser so yeah that's pretty much all there is to it um, there are some brushes in here that I won't be including in the download for example this sketch brush too this is something I also really like to sketch with because it feels really nice and it feels really believable as like a traditional media however I'm not including this because this is a brush that I bought from an artist um, I'm gonna insert you know the website image of it here and so that you guys could buy it yourself if you really want to another thing that I bought from that same pack is this painterly brush too this is re I mean it's really slow right now because I'm recording but it is really really nice brush and it feels very much like traditional media um, yeah so if you guys want to support that artist um, I really recommend you buying this 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 pack as well it's really not that expensive it's ten dollars um, yeah pretty much that's it I hope you guys enjoy my brush pack and let me know if you make anything with it and uh, yeah thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in another video bye